B and B's were not going to be an option. I wonder if there are campsites. We have a winner. A quick telephone call to the campsite office, payment made online, four nights booked, field pitch, no electric hookup, one person, two man tent and a car, arriving Wednesday afternoon. So with dew on the monkey puzzle tree and the mighty Mondeo fueled up and loaded up, I set off in an easterly direction down to Sheringham and the start of this break. It's a long old way, but it was nice to be back on the road again. I knew exactly where I was going to stop and have a quick waz. I also knew just what would be waiting for me there. Here we go, straight in with the photos and videos. Tent and campsite. Beaches and waves. Kite. Tank museum. 40s weekend. And my own favourite pictures that I took of the break. I got there fine, uh, no problem at all. Booked in at reception, asked where I could go. They pointed me to a field. Uh, said just take your pick, go anywhere you want. I put myself in a corner away from just about everybody I could see. I put the GoPro no on the bonnet of the car and here's um, a quick drive round the layout of the campsite. This is the field I was on. It shuts at nine o'clock. Well, there's no music after nine o'clock. Um, there's no electric hookups. You've got your waste bins there and the fire rings are just beside it. These are all hookups from what I could make out, uh, mainly caravans and motorhomes. The building on the right is where all the facilities are. The mulberry tree, the eucalyptus tree, sorry, that's like a, a little mini roundabout. This other field I'm going on to now, this one's quiet after 10 o'clock. So um, I'd say it's a little bit noisier in summer, but it's massive. You can go right down to the bottom. I, I, I didn't even drive down to the bottom, and this is on double the speed in the car. I'm not tear assing around the campsite. Um, the things in the middle that you can see are fire points. So if something does get out of control, you've got um, buckets of water uh, ready to hand. Uh, the field over the hedge on the right hand side is like a huge playing field. There's um, football, goalposts there. Um, someone's put some swings in those woods across the way. <clears throat> it's quite empty now. This this was after the 40s weekend. So a lot of people have gone home. This is midweek. Uh, I'm driving out now, going back towards um, the, the amenities building. And here too, you've got a, a rubbish point and the way you can pick up those tire rims for your fires. There, it's that building there, right in front of you, and that's got the, the toilets and the showers and the, the, the washing place. There's like a big rubbish bin there on your right. They're all fenced off, it's really clean. And that's where you book in the house on your right hand side that you're zooming across. And apparently this is an old Roman road um, that I'm driving along. So we go straight out of here, and this is the working farm. They've got lots of potatoes in these sheds, that's, that's what they mainly seem to grow. They've got some beef cattle. Um, and a load of hens just running wild and this is the uh, the drive out so if you go right you can go to bottom go left you can go to Weybourne Beach um, both roads take you to Sheringham so there's no big deal and the sun rises directly in front of you and here's the, the amenities block you've got a disabled shower and toilet quite big all the, the gadgets that you need if you're disabled hot and cold water on the taps on all of them. This is the inside bit and same again on the outside. Phone charging point, didn't have to use that. Um, there's a map to show you where you are. These are for ice blocks for the campers. Uh, I didn't use those either. Just bang your ice blocks in and freeze them up. Uh, there's the gent showers. They're quite basic but they're clean. washer dryer uh, it was two pounds for a wash and three pounds for a dry one of those big sinks if you do your hand washing notice board so you can uh, see what's what 
little information table, people leave books on there that they've read if you want to read. There's the outside bit again, hot and cold water, you really can't grumble. Gents urinals, little steps for toddlers. Gents cubicles. And the gents shaving area, again little steps for toddlers. And the shower blocks, just give it a quick mop when you're finished. And when you're waiting for your washing, you can sit outside and uh, talk to folks, should you want to talk to people. And here we go, back to my field. Again, this field, it's quiet after nine o'clock. I think it's called the meadow. Each, each of the fields has got different names. People have parked either side of me. I park in the middle of nowhere and they park either side of me. And that's it. gratuitous time-lapse shots of the tent with the no pro sat on the egg timer camera mount um, I didn't have anything else to do so I thought I'd give it a whirl I think they've come out quite good I like it I like that one there that's cool. you can't beat that um, I can't speed it up though so I've got to work it out a bit more and it fell in half because it's a quality product from China it looks all right. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. I wanted to do a sunrise one, but I didn't get around to it. But it looks good, that. I'm impressed with that. Van Gogh tarp, Gellert tent. Can't fall off. And here we go with some nice photographs. The Toasty Maker. Look at the slice of that. That was gorgeous. The... Uh, Twilight shot, and I'm quite impressed with that one. Here about the undies hanging up on the line. Tilly lamp, can't go with that. Long shot. <laughs> Remember, I've got nothing else to do with my life. Moonlight shot, I like that one. That one came up better than I thought. That was a moonlight shot as well. And the cracking fire shot. Now, I'm, I'm impressed with the slow motion. I like this. I didn't think it would it would work as well as it did. Check that out. Well, that was taken on the phone. in every morning and it just covered everything in like a, a really fine dew 
soaked, soaked everything through, right through. And that was every single morning the mist came in. It made for some good photographs as you left the site, as the sun rises, as you drive out of the site. And it's just like a, a slow progression of dampness and then the, the sun would burn it off later on in the day. This is the car tarp. Uh, I bought the tarpaulin and the poles and the bungee cords all off Amazon. And I thought it, it could work. It, it, there stands a chance it could work. And it did, it worked fantastically. It could do with two more poles just to keep it up at the front a bit more. But I, I'd, I'd do that again. That was, um, it was a worthwhile uh, experiment. And it kept me dry. There was a storm warning out that night. So I just put it up for the one night and sat under it um, like a sad, lonely, fat old bloke in the rain in the dark. Uh, but it was quite nice. I enjoyed it. Bollocks, please.